Welcome back, cowards, and welcome to the newest members of the Coward Club. Everyone that checked out that video in the last couple of weeks from the Cussies Cafe, I got a ton of love from it. I really loved making it, and of course, I really loved eating the food. So thanks if you came from that and subscribed so you can stick around on the channel. Of course, welcome back to my OG members as well. If you are an OG member, you will notice that I've never been on this couch before, and that's because this is the first ever time that Mitch Eats has gone on tour. Right now, I'm in self-isolation in Melbourne because of the COVID rules, so I figured, when am I ever going to get a better opportunity to try Melbourne's worst-reviewed Italian restaurant? Melbourne, of course, is famous for its laneways, its food, its hook turns, and its Mediterranean population. So you would think it has fantastic Italian, Greek food, and of course it does, but that doesn't mean that it's all good. So I managed to track down the worst-reviewed Italian restaurant in Melbourne, and we're going to order from there. I'll read you guys a couple of the reviews, just to give you an idea of what we're in for. David R. says, My girlfriend found a rubber band in amongst her risotto, which was just mountains of rice and herbs and sauce. They didn't seem surprised nor apologetic for finding a rubber band that may have very easily been eaten as if a piece of chewy onion. First of all, there should be no chewy onion in your risotto. Second of all, if you can't discern between a chewy onion and a rubber band in your meal, I don't really know what to tell you, David. Anyway, he said he wasn't impressed. I'm not impressed by the lack of dexterity on your girlfriend's tongue. Phi Hung Vu said, the pizza is overcooked. Topping is dry and crispy. We ordered a Moscato and it seems flat. Most importantly, an old waiter was trying to poke a pen through my earring just to satisfy his curious without asking my permission. That's rude and unacceptable. <laughs> that is rude and unacceptable, but I don't think it's the most important part of your review. I wonder if Phi Hung Vu has really big stretches or not. I feel like they couldn't be that big, otherwise the waiter wouldn't be wondering whether his pen would fit through it, right? Uh, Vernon said, on the menu it doesn't say any of the pizzas have ham, but they're all coated in layers of that gross fake ham. I just want to say that I've actually already placed my order and they definitely mentioned that the pizzas have ham. But Vernon also says, wouldn't recommend to my worst enemy, no idea why it's always so packed, I'd rather die than eat here again. Vernon, it sounds like you might have some stuff going on at home that doesn't have a lot to do with this Italian restaurant, but uh, I hope things get better for you, bro, and I hope that I don't want to die after I eat this food. Raphael says, disgusting, one of the worst pizzas I've ever eaten. The sauce was crunchy. <laughs> I've never heard of a crunchy sauce, man. I'm pretty excited to try a crunchy sauce if it's going to be crunchy, because that's going to be a mind-blowing experience. Raphael also says, unprofessional, foul, and overall pathetic experience. He also almost got ran over by that delivery driver, which hopefully doesn't happen with my Uber driver. Because of course I'm ordering on Uber Eats because I can't leave this self-isolation, so I'm just getting them to drop it at the door so I can go pick it up. I ordered a garlic bread, a lasagna, and a pizza. I ordered their house special pizza. It's got, like, everything they recommend on it, I suppose. So those are three things that I think I'm really going to enjoy. Garlic bread you can't really get wrong. Lasagna, always delicious, and I love a pizza with lots of toppings. It's a very Australian thing. So, I'm excited for it to come, and I'll let you guys know when it gets here. Okay, the delivery is taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. The food was actually prepared in like an absurdly low amount of time. It uh, was prepared in like less than 10 minutes, which for a wood-fired pizza and a lasagna seems extremely quick. So I'm feeling like Chef Mike might have been involved. The same chef from our worst reviewed Indian video. Uh, it's on the way now, except Bereshwa is making one more delivery along the way. So hopefully it's not too long, because I'm trying to grub. Guys, I think it's uh, Bereshwa pulling up in the whip. Okay, well that was sufficiently awkward. I went down there to grab the food from the door. Some guy that lives here was like coming in the building at the same time. There was two Uber Eats guys for some reason, both the Bereshwa, I don't know. Anyway, got the food, and that's what's important. So. Gonna rip it open and see what it's talking about. Okay, this little pizza here. Okay, this is the uh, the special pizza, I think. There's that ham that Raphael said that they didn't put on the menu, but I knew it was on there. So we got some capsicum, some onions, some mushrooms. Honestly, it looks like a pretty good pizza. I was very surprised that they were able to do it so quickly, but honestly, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna tuck into that. Just take a little bite, hey, none of the uh, pieces look particularly better than the other ones. I probably should have started with the garlic bread. That would have made more sense, but fate decided that I would start with the special pizza. Crust is feeling pretty spongy. You just say, though, horrendously salty. 
the guy was not kidding when he said there was like an insane layer of this fake ham on here. I think there's anchovies as well, so like ham, anchovies, cheese, tomato sauce, which is not crunchy, unfortunately. But it's like a lot, man, like a lot of salt. This seems weird to say because I love pizza with lots of toppings and I specifically said that earlier in the video, but this might have too many toppings. Like it's almost too much, there's too much going on. I can't really taste anything except capsicum and salt. In terms of like the pizza crust and the texture and stuff, it's actually not bad. I think it's pretty well cooked, just way too much going on with the toppings. So, probably wouldn't order the special pizza again, but Better pizza with like slightly less toppings on it. I think I would order it, although this was $12 and it's a pretty tiny little pizza as you can see. Anyway, moving on to the garlic bread. Okay, this looks pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> it's just like a blank pizza dough with some chopped garlic just thrown on there carelessly by the looks of things and then cut into like weird squares, I guess. I don't know why they didn't just cut it like pizza, but that's what they've decided. So it smells extremely garlicky and of course we're gonna eat the bit with that huge chunk of garlic on it because who doesn't love a bit of garlic? Can't actually separate it, okay. I don't know about that. Oh, it's very light. Mm. Yeah. This is a uh, sitting under our garlic bread here, just a little bit of oil. So yeah, it's pretty oily. It's almost like it's like deep fried and not oven baked. The garlic actually isn't that strong. Just like a weird crispiness to it. It's not a pizza dough. It's like a bread, but it's deep fried, I feel. Or like fried in a hot pan or put through the thing with something on top of it because the base is like really crispy, but not in like a good way. You just kind of bite straight through it. There's no density or anything to it. And the garlic flavor is actually not that strong. Like, it's just not through the bread. Like, it's just raw, not raw, like plain, crispy bread with some garlic thrown on top. Not good. Now we move on to this beast. What was I? Oh my God. I literally can't see any pasta in here. Where is the pasta? Okay, there's a bit of pasta at the bottom. But this thing looks pretty heinous, bro. Okay, so first impressions, I will say that uh, I think I have a pretty big serve here. You can see there's a reference with my four fingers. Uh, a lot of like ragu meat sauce in there. Not a whole lot of pasta by the looks of things. It's just meat sauce all the way around. Uh, it doesn't smell too bad. It does look pretty oily. But I mean, what can you do, you know? Can't really avoid the oil when you put this much meat sauce in. We got a little pool of it over there. So I think what we'll do is just try the meat sauce on its own and then try and get a nice slice of lasagna. Oh no, there's so much oil. When you like move it, it fills back in. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's straight like school tuck shop pasta sauce. So salty again, just a ton of salt. It's almost like they've cooked it too long. Flavors have like reduced too much. The beef's pretty much all gone. It's just like, Almost powdery. You get another close up for you guys. It's just so oily all the way down, and that's what the meat is like as well. Just so oily, like there's not much sort of texture to it, or not much depth to it. Just way salty, no texture, not a good bite. But we'll try it with the pasta because I might have like a bechamel in there, although I can't see one. But we do have a lot of layers of pasta, so props to them for that. But we'll give it a red hot go. We don't want to disrespect them just by trying the ragu. Is it like the worst lasagna? Is it like worse than frozen lasagna? Probably not. But is it like better than good lasagna that I've had? Absolutely not. I could cook a better lasagna than this myself. Uh, it's a pretty good serving, but there's just no sort of like unique flavor in here. It's all just like oil and salt and tomato. And there's no cheese, there's no bechamel. Really, uh, yeah, don't think you would enjoy eating an entire bucket of this, which is basically what this is. So all in all, Melbourne's worst reviewed Italian restaurant. It's 
probably not going to be the worst Italian food you've ever eaten, but it's absolutely not going to be the best Italian food you've ever eaten. It's super oily, uh, everything is like so close to like being good, but it just doesn't get over the hump, which is disappointing because this was a pretty expensive meal. I think maybe I'll finish the pizza because that's like tolerable. This lasagna, I think, would just make me feel so sick with how much oil is in there, and the garlic bread and ginger scale also is terrible. Anyway, uh, I've got some more Melbourne videos coming up, which is super exciting. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please leave a like down below and a comment if you enjoyed the video, and of course subscribe if you want to see more content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.